Okay, strike force. Stole this from a buddy in Wyoming. They call it this strike force. You can call it drop drill, box drill. It's not like we made it up, but I like it called strike force. Okay, you can really get good work kickoff versus KOR. But you're going to set up a box. Again, you can do your own depth if you want, but we drop our guys about seven to eight yards into the box. So this is our KOR player. We're going to have a kickoff player running down and then a returner. Okay, but this, we want it to get pretty darn live when we do this. This is starting to put our guys in space, understanding that I can't just start them two yards away from him in all practice, and then we got to run 50 in the game. Okay, so just what we've talked about. We are going to drop to head up. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Drop to head up and get comfortable in that position. Again, the reason we can, and it's up to you guys, do your own scheme. The reason we can do this is that if we lose, which will happen because it's hard as heck to be on the front line, we will have guys in the back end that will pick them up, and I'll teach this kid to go double-team somebody else, get a safety, get a kicker, whatever that might be. So we can be very aggressive. We're not just saying if you lose, that guy's making the tackle. So that, that does play into it if you're saying, well, coach, that's a hard – it is hard, okay, but that's why you got to find good players that are fit, tight ends, guys that are used to doing it, and put them on your front line. Don't give me this whole – I'm going to put a wide receiver out there because he stock blocks. This is not stock blocking, guys. And I'll talk to any of you all day about it as long as you want to. This is not stock blocking. Not to say a wide out can't, but that does not correlate just because they do that in practice. Okay, so think about using defensive guys or bigger bodies. Really good job by him getting head up. You'll see him inch late right there. I'd like to see his head up, obviously. We know that. Okay, but that's a really really good rep and if you carry that over to a game you're going to win all day number 11 is a starting linebacker for us so he's not going against a young scout 25 that's doing the kor is a starting young safety for us so that's two darn good players that are getting a great rep and that's a win for us right there on kickoff return now number 11's full go man i'm not telling him hit the guy i'm not telling him run around this is strike force and this is really good on good but you're not wearing the guys out. You get a great rep, and they get comfortable in full speed now, getting head up and inching to leverage. You can handle it a few different ways. We've got our safeties coach throwing a ball and saying go. You want to time that up. Okay, You can just give the return of the ball and let them go however you want to handle that. Okay, Now, I put this one on here because if you've seen some of the other uh, PBR stuff that we did, that right there, guys, I don't want. See my guy that's going to go put his hands on his back and then put his hands up? We all know right now it's going to be called a block in the back. We all know that. Okay? So this carries over to our high screen that we talked about on one of the other uh, drills on, on, on PBR tape. Okay? High screen. Or if I've totally got my butt kicked and I've lost, and you got to be able to make that decision. You guys will hear me say all the time, HSDM, high-speed decision-making. Okay? If I've lost, you should all know by listening to me now, I want this kid to turn around and go block somebody else, a safety or whatever. At some point, this kid's got to make somebody miss for us also. Got to have a decent enough player back there, okay? But I don't like that finish of the drill. But kickoff on this side, kickoff guy got on his toes pretty good, and he's winning with speed. That's a pretty good dip. Get around him, okay? So there's a lot of teaching that can happen in this drill one-on-one. -on -one. I would have two or three of them set up. Okay, take your guys that you trust on your staff and get a couple of these drills set up, man. Do not just let 15 guys stand. We got six guys right there ready to go, waiting to go. We got six on the other side, so guys are getting reps. Okay, this is our strike force drill. Pretty good. Good. Now he finishes through the drill. He gets back to where that return's going. He doesn't chase him to go block him in the back. We talked about running the return on one of the other clinics, on the other tapes. He's going to go this way, so you throttle down because eventually this guy's going to try to backdoor. Excuse me. He's going to try to backdoor. So he sits down right there. We're good. Now run the return with him, and we win. We're past it. Okay? A couple game clips. Obviously, you guys will recognize this team in the black. Obviously, they're in the national playoffs right now at our level. Darn good football team. Very good in the kicking game, too. But what I want to show you is look at the right side of this screen, okay? Head up, head up, head up. The field, guys, they're going to give it away a little bit more just because there's space. But that is really good right there, and this is starting to be very good right there. But if I were to pause this, guys, you should not really be able to tell me 
hey, that's 100% a boundary return or that's 100% a field return. Shouldn't be able to do it. You can guess and you can study, but by the time you guess, we're going to end up going this way on you. Okay, so that's a really good picture right here in our boundary of head up. And this is strike force drill. Watch number 24 for Cincinnati against our guy. Against our guard. Let me circle him for you so you all see it. These two guys going right there. This is strike force drill. And this is why it's important to get this going in practice. We went right there all day. And he gets driven back and all. I don't care, man. That is fine. He stays latched on his guys. He's below his helmet. And we're out the gate there. Not, I shouldn't say out the gate. We're out one-on-one -on -one with the kicker, okay? We end up getting tackled at the 40 or something like that because I think this number five falls off from the field. Okay? But a really good look at strike force drill and how much it happens one-on-one -on -one throughout, uh, throughout the play. Again, that's a, that's a uh, tight end fullback for us. This is a, a bigger, a big corner for us, a defensive guy. And then a couple linebackers here. Okay, don't try to put a bunch of small guys up there and block fives, fours, and threes that are running down against you guys. Okay. Look, look at the left side of the screen here on the hash and our guard. Trying to make it all look the same for us, man. That's pretty darn good by those two cats right there. There's some other guys that aren't phenomenal on it, but these two cats, pretty good. Number 18 and number 38. Head up. Head up. At least these two guys for Tulsa now have no clue which way this return's going. And if you look at our back end, which we're going to get to in a minute, he should be in the same spot as always, so there's no key. As you watch the play, obviously you can start to feel that it's happening, but these guys are already engaged, and they're already at the 35 or 30-yard line. You'll see teams that run down, and right now at the 50, start pointing left, 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 field, 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 boundary, dump, whatever it is. And they start maneuvering their kickoff team. Makes it very hard on the KOR team, okay? So I think the scheme's really good. I got it from a buddy this past year and love it. Okay, we had success on it too. But those two guys right there do a very good job. Head up, and there is inch to our leverage. There's strike force drill. Now, 48 or 38 loses this one, okay, because I don't love him inching his leg. He blocks the guy head up. I'd like to get him over there. Okay, but understand that's how it carries over right into the game. 